I have a giant box. Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with this giant box uh, that came from Chicago, which is all the stuff that I had to ship home from BookCon. This box weighs 19 pounds, and I had to ship it home because there was no way I was getting all this stuff into my luggage. Now this is not all the stuff I got at BookCon. Some stuff I was able to put into my luggage, which I have on the floor beside me, but we'll talk about that after I get this bad boy open because this is heavy and it's on my lap. Let's do this. Got it. Let's see what's inside because I only remember some of the stuff that's in here. So the first thing I see are half of the tote bags that I couldn't fit in my suitcase. These are half the tote bags I got. And if this is only half of them, you know that I got a lot of tote bags. But we'll talk about these later. Get to what everybody really wants to talk about. This is the autographing time list. Wow, my white balance. Is the autographing time list from BookCon that I just threw in the top of this box and I honestly didn't know it was in there. Next thing we have are these really cool things and I actually wish that I put one in my suitcase so I would have one for the four days. And these are speakers. Surprisingly, these are kind of like speakers. I have two of them. I don't know how I got two of them. What you do is you take your phone and you put it in here. Oh God, I can't do it. No, I can do it. I did it before. You put it in the top of this thing and it amplifies the sound. And I tested it in my hotel room and it was awesome. On it, it says, this is the author, a podcast about authors reading their audiobooks. Now we're into the stuff that everybody really wants to see, which are the books. And wow, there's a lot. <laughs> Honestly, if I'd gone to BEA2, there probably would be a ton more and I would have had to do two boxes home. Before I get into all of these books, uh, let it be known that I didn't only pick up books. Trish, who is in my vlog with me, picked up some as well and she was like, here you go. So I have a lot of books that I know nothing about and did not grab. First book is The Karaoke Singer's Guide to Self-Defense by Tim Kinsella. Next we have Fangirls Rule the World and this is like a, I guess, chapter sampler? Oh yeah, this is a chapter sampler from Sam Maggs, who is the author of the Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy. This has an excerpt from her new book, Wonder Woman, an excerpt from Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy, and an excerpt from Crafting with Feminism. And I actually got to meet Sam Maggs, and I got my copy of the Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy signed, which is somewhere in this box, but we will find it. But she is the nicest person ever, and I was telling her how much I loved Fangirl's Guide, and I really did. I love that book. It's my one of my favorite non-fictions. She was so nice. It was great to meet her. They were actually signing copies of Wonder Woman, with her new book, but they ran out of copies when I got there. Next we have Jacoby by William Ritter, and he was doing an in-booth signing, and it says, to Chloe, love odd, be nerdy, and he signed it. I have a lot of signed books. I've never had this many signed books before. Next we have a middle grade graphic novel called Hilo Saving the Whole Wide World by Jude Winnick. The next book I have is The People in the Park by Marguerite King Mitchell. Next we have a chapter sampler of My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. And for those of you who don't know, he wrote Horror Store, and I read Horror Store and it was very creepy. Next I went to the Morgan Matson signing and I got three books signed. Two of them I purchased at the signing. Another one I actually purchased like two days before the signing, before I even knew that I was going to go to her signing. First I have Amy and Roger's Epic Detour to Chloe, all best, Morgan Matz. And then the book I actually purchased two days beforehand, Since You've Been Gone. Um, I thought it was so funny that I purchased it took it with me to BookCon just in case, and I ended up getting the wristband for her signing. And this one says, To Chloe XOXO Morgan Matson." And the last book I got um, signed by her is her new book, and oh my god, it is gorgeous. It's The Unexpected Everything, and this book is so pretty now that I'm actually taking time to look at it. It's gorgeous. It's like, like an ice cream truck on it. That is so cute. This one, I actually, when I was talking to her, I told her that me coming to BookCon was my graduation present, which, which it was. And in this one, I didn't even see this because I wasn't really looking at it after I was like moving around the convention center a lot. And this one she signed to Chloe, happy graduation, XO Morgan Matson. Oh my God, that is so sweet and so nice. Oh, I'm very happy to have three of her books 
signed and oh my god it's amazing so i just pulled out of the box a, another copy of the chapter sampler from sam mags and i don't know how i got this i actually did get some extra things on purpose because i'm trying to send a care package to elizabeth from uh, her new channel name is the owlry books and i'm uh she didn't get to go to BookCon, so i'm like taking some of my extra stuff and I'm gonna send it to her and that would actually be a good addition. The next book I actually purchased at the Epic Reads booth and it is The Selection by Kiara Cass. I've been wanting to read this for a while. People have been telling me to read this. There's like there were the three books and then there was like a new book and I think there's another book and it's all confusing to me but I'm very excited to be reading this. I found my copy of the Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy at the bottom of the box and this is my copy. There it is. Chloe. Love Sam Mags. The next book I also purchased at the Epic Reads booth and it is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. And for those of you guys who follow me for a while or follow Once Upon a Read Along, you know that this was our January book of the month and I loved this book so I'm really, really glad to have picked up a copy of it. I have Rust by Corbin Burnson, The Circle Girls Once Upon a Witch by Anya Novikov, Mary Manor's Wisdom Tree, and I don't I don't know who this is by. It does not say. Maybe it's, oh, it's by Mary Manners. That makes sense. So it's just called Wisdom Tree. Next is a chapter sampler of Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. And I don't know why I picked this up because I own the book. It's like right over here. I actually own the full book. So not sure why I picked this up. Next is my original copy of Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout. She was doing an in booth signing that I almost didn't make. Well, I was walking and I saw it and I was like oh my god let me get in line for it right now because the line was short and it turns out it was a ticketed event and they were all out of tickets but uh, this family of three that was in front of me gave me one of their tickets because I guess the the dad of the family wasn't gonna be in line and that was so nice and I was so happy that they did that and I got it signed it says Chloe hey kitten Jennifer Armentrout actually found out that I'm from Florida and said I should go to Polycon next year. Which book I got is The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Netto. He was also doing an in-booth signing all day at BookCon and this one isn't personalized, just signed. And finally, the last two things in this box. Probably my favorite, favorite things in this entire box. I finally got to meet my favorite author. I finally got to meet Marissa Meyer. Oh, she wrote the Lunar Chronicles. I'm obsessed with the Lunar Chronicles. So you may or may not know, but I actually have two copies of Winter, one of which is signed right behind me. One of those is signed, and I actually got that as a Christmas present for my friend Erin, and that's uh, the kind of autographed copy you can get from like Barnes & Noble. But these, these bad boys, are signed and personalized. This is actually my original copy of Cinder that I took with me to get signed. Okay, Marissa Meyer was one of the wristband authors that you needed. There was no way I was not meeting her. I was determined and I got the wristband and I'm so happy. Ah, to Chloe, Once Upon a Future, Marissa Meyer. This signing you had to, had to buy a book um, but they had like so many people and they needed to move the liner along quickly. If you had a copy of your own book, uh, you didn't have to buy one. Well, I wanted to buy one anyway. So many people bought a book that all the paperback copies of Scarlet, of Cress, of Ferris were all gone. All, all that was left was hardcover copies of Winter, hardcover copies of Stars Above, and I think hardcover copies of Cinder as well. Well, of course, I already had a copy of Cinder with me. And I already have a signed copy of Winter, so I didn't want to get another one. I wanted a different one. So my only option was to get Stars Above, which I'm perfectly fine with. I actually didn't know what I wanted to get signed, uh, and that actually made my life easier. And this one says, to Chloe, and then it says Stars Above, um, the original, and she put an exclamation point at the end, and signed it. Oh my gosh. So now I have two copies of Stars Above, two copies of Winter, and one copy of each of the main uh, books. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to buy a second copy of Cinder from Book Outlet. 
Um, so I have two copies, one to admire and one to read. And I actually filmed meeting her. It's on my blog, um, link down below. So that's everything that's in the box. Now let's talk about other things. I have, I think I have actually a few more books at the bottom of this pile, but we will start with the most random stuff, which is the swag. First of all, what? These are foam wings. They say Everland on them. I saw people walking around with them. I had no idea where they were getting them. I found these. They were laying abandoned on a random table outside of the panel hall on top of a cooler, just there. I adopted them just because. And next, I have this giant Ziploc bag full of swag to talk about. So I haven't said it yet, but I'm actually going to scrapbook my entire Chicago trip. So a lot of stuff in here can go into my scrapbook. A lot of stuff I have over there into my scrapbook. This is gonna be a scrapbook because I never travel. This is my first. This was my first time on a plane. My first time in another state that I actually flew to. I've been to another state before it was Georgia, but this is the one I actually flew to. So these things are wristbands for the different autographings. Uh, this one is for Veronica Roth, which I didn't get to go to Veronica Roth because I wasn't in the line for her, but Trish got this one and she went to the Veronica Roth signing for me. This one is for Morgan Matson, and this one is for Marissa Meyer. This is the one that I had to have. There was no way I wasn't getting this one. These are some of the lanyards that you uh, got for your badge. They say BookBub on them. I am a part of BookBub. I get the emails every single day. And these two are the actual badges. They both have a button for the BFG movie, which is the Big Friendly Giant. I got a ton, 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 ton of buttons and magnets and stickers. Um, and these two are the same right now. They say uh, hashtag press back. These are buttons. We have a little tiny button that says seriously shove a book in my face now. We have this is so cute. This is going in the kitchen. It's a magnet that has measurements on it like conversions. I have two magnets that are the same thing that say shh we're reading. Look how cute that is. I have a big button that says I heart owl crate. A owl button. A magnet that says hashtag sex object. The secret history of Twin Peaks. The peculiar haunting of Thelma B. Understone the villain. This is a teeny teeny tiny one that says I heart YA forever and it has an owl crate or an owl on it. This is a medium sized one that has an owl on it. This one is so cute and I don't even know why. It just, it just says vegan in a heart. I could never be a vegan because I love cheese too much, but I always want to be a vegetarian. Problem is I can't do that as long as I live with my mom because she doesn't want to be a vegetarian. This one says ECW. Who is Geekerella? Then quirkbooks.com slash Geekerella. The Jennifer L. Armentrout signing. They were also giving out these cute nail um, stickers that um, match the book. They're so cute. These things, there's two of them. These are so cute. These are uh, memory card holders or SD card holders for like cameras and you fold it shut like a book and there's a little zipper on the side. Then I have two of the like things that wrap around cups. Uh, also from National Geographic, I have two of those. This one says Owl Crate. Isn't that so adorable? Uh, seriously shove a book in our face now. I heart Owl Crate. I heart Owl Crate. Owl for my best friend's exorcism. That's so cute. I think this is a sticker. It says, I am unrivaled, and it's a new book by Alice Noel. And then I have these two big Epic Reads stickers. This is not a sticker, it's a coaster, and it says, Last Call, Last Call at the Nightshade Lounge, a novel of magic and mixology. This is a temporary tattoo that I have a few of, and it says Love Warrior on it, and it has like a heart, a flaming heart on it. And I have two of these buttons that are attached to these, but it is, it says hashtag free days with George learning life's little lessons from one very big dog. Can you see that? I think these are mints, but it says total printing systems, digital book manufacturer. I pick these up, but I have three packs of matches. Um, and they are in the style of Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I used to hate using matches. I like using grill lighters instead for all of my candles. Next, I have two bracelets and this is my favorite one. It says Carpe Diem Seize the Day. Oh, so cute. And then this one says Be Unstoppable for Love from Series Saga. This I'm really excited about because at the Owl Crate um, 
booth, you could spin the wheel to win a free prize. And Trish spun the wheel and got a candle. And you guys know I'm obsessed with candles. And it is a book lover soy candle. And the scent is Reading at the Cafe. And it smells like freaking Starbucks. Candle obsessed. Me. Now we have pens. Trish made sure to get these dog pens. Um, and she got plenty of them. She got four dog pens. So we have four of them. And then I don't know where this one came from, but it's like wooden and it says American Express open. That's all the, oh, there is one more thing. So this is a keychain and it's for The One by Kira Cass. And I haven't opened it yet, but it says The One and there's a little tiara on it. Let's get into some of the stuff that I brought home in my suitcase. These are mostly chapter samplers, some bookmarks and business cards. First thing I have are two chapter samplers from Veronica Roth for Carve the Mark, which is her new book coming out. The reason I have two, this one is actually mine that Trish got in the Veronica Roth signing and it is signed. It says, Chloe, enjoy Veronica Roth. And this is a little note that I wanted Trish to uh, say to Veronica Roth. The reason I have a second one is because they had them in the Epic Reads Lounge and I'm going to send this to Elizabeth. Next thing I'm so excited about is this Fable Haven Book of Imagination chapter sampler. I believe it's a chapter sampler. Oh no, it actually is a like an activity book. It talks about Brandon Mole's new book, which is Dragon Watch, a sequel to Fable Haven that I'm so excited about. And Brandon Mole signed this. That's where I got it from. And there's a little smiley face right here that he put as well. You can't see it. There you go. Next, I have actually a small little pile of bookmarks that are all the same. And they are for the a Droma Saga Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings and they're all signed first of all um, but it turns out when I was at the JD Netto uh, booth and he, uh, they were putting stuff in my bag uh, my book and my poster he threw a pile of these in there um, so I have a lot and I didn't even know it until I looked in the bag but he put all these in here and that was very very nice of him and I'm very excited for this book. Uh, I also have a bookmark for The Whispers of the Fallen. These are like cards advertising books. Okay, so this one is for Freya and the Dragon Egg by K.W. Pendorf. This one is also for uh, Whispers of the Fallen. This one is cute. It says I Heart Audiobooks on it. It says download a free audiobook clips with your favorite. Oh, that's cool. And I get a free, uh, I get a free full audiobook of These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner card for a book called Frazzled by Bookie Vivit, Vivot coming September 2016. A bookmark for 1000 Words for War, a bookmark for The Last Tree by Denise Getson, a Melvin and Ben's Music bookmark, Giants and Ogres bookmark, a Paladin bookmark is a bookmark for The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout, The Featherproof Books, two bookmarks for Beyond the Sentence. And I have this little card for Laya Anderson's Dog Park Mysteries. I have this another like postcard type thing for Carpe Diem Inspirations. So I have a advertising card for Owl Crate, um, another advertising card for Featherproof Books, a Tales of the Peculiar bookmark, Epic Reads Bookish Questions, and it has a a question on the back that says, what YA book would you want to adapt for TV slash movie that hasn't been adapted yet? Lunar Chronicles. This is cute. It's like a little postcard thing and it says, between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. Another Owl Crate advertisement. And this is a list of signings and giveaways at the Macmillan booth. The BookCon map. I have a chapter sampler for Gilded Cage by Vic James. I have a chapter sampler for The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armantrout, which is already out, by the way. It came out on Tuesday. And this one is signed. Next, I have a chapter sampler slash activity book of War in the 13th and the All Seen Eye. And this was also from Quirk Books. This is a little pamphlet talking about the Whispers of the Fallen. Uh, series by J.D. Netto. This is like a small poster for the next book in the Whispers of the Fallen series. I have two copies of this Epic Reads magazine. Next I have the Book Expo America 2016 new title showcase. This is just a book of books that they're showing that are coming out soon and on the back 
it has the dates for BEA 2017. This is a bigger pamphlet for Whispers of the Fallen. Next I have a few more books that weren't in the box and then I have some totes and then I'm almost done. But first I have You'll Grow Out of It by Jesse Klein. Next I have I Will Send Rain by Ray Meadows. This next book Sam from Thoughts on Tomes actually had a ton of arcs, uh, different arcs that she was giving out first come first served. I went, I got a picture with her and I talked to her for about five to ten minutes and I got a copy of Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. Rainbow Rowell is one of my favorite authors. I have read all of her books except for Carry On. I'm going to read that very soon, I promise. And lastly is a book that I actually bought two days before BookCon at Myopic Bookstore in Chicago. And I also bought this the same night that I bought um, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey will be very happy to know that I finally have a copy of Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Another book thing that I got at BookCon is actually this shirt that I'm wearing and it says fictional character and on the back it uh, says Anderson Books. And finally we are going to talk about the probably 15 tote bags that I got at BookCon. I almost forgot we also have posters to talk about too. So the first thing I have is this Dauntless tote bag. This tote bag I got is for Total Printing Systems Digital Book Manufacturer. This one I'm also really excited about because right now I'm obsessed with the TV show and I'm currently reading the fifth book in the series and it is a Shadow Hunters tote bag and it says I Heart Shadow Hunters Freeform on it. This next tote bag I got is from National Geographic and it has a brain on it. Next is the Owl Crate tote bag which has an owl face on this side and on the back says hashtag Owl Crate. Next is probably one of my favorite tote bags that I've gotten and I actually have like two or three of these because both Trish and I got one and then I think Trish got an extra one for my mom and it is the Epic Reads tote bag. These were just laying on tables for people to grab and that was so nice. But it says Epic Reads and it has a few uh, books and authors here. It says Book Shimmy. This is another Owl Crate tote bag. Next I have the Book TV tote bag from Comcast. Next I have a Pelican Book Group tote. Next I have an IMC Financial Markets tote. Next I have a Magic Treehouse Kids a club tote. I have a second Magic Treehouse Kids Club tote. Another Epic Reads tote. And then I have a riveted tote and it says why a fiction is our addiction. And finally the Harlequin tote. And last but certainly not least, this video is probably really really long, we're gonna talk about posters that I got. This first one is the BFG movie poster, The Big Friendly Giant. This next one is a signed JD Netto one. You see his signature is right there. This next one is a poster for The Thousandth Floor by Katherine McGee. This one is probably my favorite poster because it is one of the huge Epic Reads graphics. <laughs> this is 365 Days of YA, uh, which they posted on their website before and it's in a poster form. It's so pretty. Oh my, and that is everything that I got at BookCon Chicago 2016. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you would like to take a behind the scenes look at my life, you can subscribe to my second channel, Cloessence. The link is down below. And if you like what you see here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!